Now at 4.30, two crashes in two months leads to more calls to shut down a local airport. The future of Whiteman Airport is up in the air following recent plane crashes. Yeah, concerned residents and community groups got another step closer today in their calls to shut it down. The airport in Pacoima is located near Homes and the Metrolink Railway. KCAL9's Rachel Kim reports this afternoon, neighbors fear it's a matter of time before innocent people could be killed. I live here, I work here, we've raised our children here. And we're here today to say shut down the Whiteman Airport. Concerned about their community safety, Pacoima residents are trying to get their message off the ground after a series of crashes near Whiteman Airport. What are we waiting for? Are we waiting for an explosion? Are we waiting for a specific number of people to die? Oh, oh, oh. The most recent crash happened on January 9th when a plane made an emergency landing onto train tracks near the airport. LAPD officers managed to rescue the pilot from the wreckage seconds before a Metrolink train slammed into it at full speed. Runway is clear, New York, Atlanta. And hopefully we'll make it. Back in November of 2020, a Civil Air Patrol pilot died after his single-engine Cessna approaching Whiteman knocked over power lines before falling onto parked cars on a residential street. In response to residents' concerns, on Tuesday, the L.A. County Board of Supervisors directed its staff to identify documents and information that would need to be presented to the Federal Aviation Administration if the county decides to request the closure of Whiteman Airport. The L.A. County Board of Supervisors has local jurisdictional authority for the airport, but no authority to close it. At this point, the board has not decided to petition for its closure. But we're all at the federal level, state level, county, city level, we're all looking at it. Congressman Tony Cardenas tells us he was prompted to do something after the crashes and after hearing from his constituents. He sent a letter to the FAA and the National Transportation Safety Board asking for a comprehensive safety review of the airport. How safe is Whiteman Airport? Are these incidents over and above the average, et cetera? Are they doing everything that they can to make sure that it's as safe as possible? That's what we're going to get down to the bottom of. L.A. County Supervisor Sheila Kuehl said the FAA process of closing an airport could take a decade or more. But residents say authorities and lawmakers need to make this a priority. For them to act as if this is not a big deal, that this is not a risk to our community, it's just not okay. Reporting in Pacoima, Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News.